Welcome to Barker on Wildlife, the show with the answers to all of your questions. <laughs> and here we see the lesser spotted chicken, often found wearing outfits which make sense later. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the more freckled lazy hendy. And as well as all that, <laughs> we witness the witty goings on of the hippo, the strange world of tomatoes, this rather motley bunch of little monkeys in Bong Nagong. And we learn the secrets behind taking part in a great competition. <laughs> Stop putting on that ridiculous voice. <laughs> yeah, okay, I will do the first question. <laughs> Here is the first question. <laughs> Dear Mr Barker, my name's Josh Wilding King, age six, from Crouch End, London. What I'd like to know is how do you film Wild Birds TV programmes? Ah, well, Joshua, the simple answer is by using a remote-controlled chicken. Watch her. She goes up. There she goes. There she goes. She goes sideways. Sideways. Then she goes... I've told you before, Mr Barker, be careful of birds. There are two things they do exceptionally well. Fly and lay eggs. Three things they do exceptionally well. Fly, lay eggs, and uh, bring you good luck. I've come to the home of Lloyd and Rose Buck, who've trained many of the birds you've seen on TV. Here's some they prepared earlier. Pretty impressive stuff, eh? This is Rose. Rose, how'd you go about training the swans? Well, when the swans are tiny, in fact, before they're even hatched, their mum would talk to them when they're in the egg. So that's exactly what I did. I went to the incubator where the egg was keeping warm, took it out every now and again, and then just talked to it. You talk to eggs? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say to an egg? Well, it was a bit difficult, so I just sort of said the first thing that popped into my head, really, which was like, hi, hello, come on. What are you doing in there? And <laughs> now, I've played Mother Goose in Panto. Uh, how would you become Mother Swan? Well, you spend all your time with them. So everywhere I go, they go. I go in the lake, they go in the lake. I go to sleep, they go to sleep, all around my neck, like five fluffy duvets. When it comes to filming swans, what you need are the swans, obviously, a film crew safely harnessed into an open-top jeep, and the swan's mum rose to call to them. Off you go, Rose. Puppies, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! We're travelling at 35 miles an hour into a headwind. This is incredible. Well, that's how they film swans, but how do you think they film this? This is Sky, the Golden Eagle. Lloyd, how'd you get those incredible pictures? Well, first of all, you have to train Sky to fly back to you. Then you get used to the idea of wearing a small harness, and you put this miniature camera on her back. <laughs> and all they have to do is remember to turn the camera on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you've got an eagle eye view of the world. There you go, Mr. Barker. That's how you train birds. <sighs> Good luck with Miss Chicken. <laughs> Today, how to become Head Hippo, a step-by-step -step guide on being the hippest hippo in town. Good afternoon, welcome along to W.O.W. Weird <laughs> or What? Hey, look at some of the strangest sights and smells of the natural world. Over to our man in the field, Mr. Barker. Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Handy. Uh, firstly, I am a dog, not a man. And once again, I am not in the field. I am up to my furry knees in water. 
Mm, that's as may be, Mr. Barker, but the uh, viewers want to know how to become head hippo. Yeah. Well, it's really very simple, Paul. The hippo who wants to be the chief, head honcho, big boss team leader, gets the other hippos to cover him in poo. In poo? <laughs> In poo. It's true. In fact, I think there's about to be some poo spreading of the hippo kind. Uh, uh, get down, chaps. Here we go. It is true uh, that the other members of the hippo team help out by waving their tails around to spread the muck deep and thick and even. There he goes there. Oop, he's putting someone on his back, dirty birdie. Look at him. He's having a wild time. Oh, uh, the reason I'm covered in poo, by the way, Paul, is because one of the hippopotamouses over there thought that I needed to be the leader. Uh, Oh, X, here he comes again. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, try not to get the camera dirty. <laughs>